I'll try to give a lecture or an understanding of what's going on in the world. It's a little bit of a pan out in the sense that I've been working on a book for the better part of uh, three years, trying to understand uh, the new world order. But I think it's very timely also for us uh, Finns and Estonians, because whenever a world order changes, uh, we can quite easily become, well, buttons. Uh, in that uh, little game of world politics, and we have to avoid that. I'm all 200 nation states. And of course, in the beginning, it did feel like that. Things were going the right way. But the bottom line is that we got a little bit lazy in our thinking about the international order and didn't realize that not everyone wanted to be exactly like us. Now, why do I then use my final point in the introduction? Um, 2022 as my starting point. Well, yeah, I guess I could have used 9-11 um, in 2001, or I could have used the financial crisis in 2018, uh, in 2008, uh, or I could have chosen, you know, the election of Donald Trump as president of the United States in 2016. But I think 2020, or I could have used the, Russia's attack on Georgia in 2008, or the annexation of Crimea in 2014. But the reason that I choose 2022 is that is when the major shift starts to take place, um, uh, where we have to realize from our part that history did not end. We're witnessing uh, the end of the post-Cold War era and the emergence of some kind of a new order uh, in this world. In my mind, it'll take about 10 years to settle. Uh, and then it's a question of whether we as small states are able to impact that change or are we just going to be uh, spectators? Of course, someone like Lennart Meri would have taught us that small states really have to make their voices heard.